October is finally here. I thought it would never come. And you all are here to help us kick off our fourth annual Vlogtoberfest event. We're so thankful to have each and every one of you here. Many of you are here for the first time ever. Some of you are four time returning champions. Some of you have been here since the very beginning of Cruise Tips TV history back in 2013. And we appreciate each and every one of you so very, very much. Vlogtoberfest is such a fun time. If you're new to the idea of what we're doing here, it's, um, it's kind of different. But we started back in 2016 and said, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go live every day in October or we're going to have a video every day in October. We're going to do something every day in October. And the idea stuck and it became a really fun opportunity for everyone to gear up for fall together. But I was saying today earlier to my family that I think this year is even more special because we need each other more than ever. And this is a time to really come together and support one another in the month of October while we wait for the resumption of cruising. So it's not all about making cocktails and all of that. Special thanks before we get started to Mark Akira for the super chat earlier. That was so awesome. There's also a lot of new folks that I haven't been able to say hello to that have come into the chat. Thank you all so much for being here. We appreciate it. We are. This is a great turnout and I am so thrilled. So thank you, thank you, thank you. What I'd love for all of you to do while we're getting started is in the chat, in honor of kicking off Vlogtoberfest, tell us two things. Number one, what do you miss the most about cruising? Thank you, Sheldon, for that idea. And number two, what is your next cruise? What's it look like? Is it What ship is it on? Where are you going? Tell us all about it. So what do you miss the most about cruising? And what ship are you going to be on? And I'm gonna keep an eye on the chat, but we're gonna make a cocktail tonight. Back to what Vlogtoberfest is though. So every weekday this year is what we decided to do for Vlogtoberfest. So you're going to be seeing us live every Wednesday and Friday at 5.30 Pacific, that's 8.30 Eastern time. All of the other weekdays will have recorded videos. We have four different themes throughout the month. So the first week is packing and planning week. The second week is Alaska packing week where we're gonna talk about packing clothing, outerwear, and gear for Alaska in separate videos. We actually have four special videos for you that week. It's gonna be great. And then we have what's called best and worst week. And that's not what it sounds like. It's the best and worst times to travel to certain regions. You all have been requesting that video for every region. We've got the Caribbean, Mexican Riviera, and Alaska, the big three for you. So that's gonna be fun. And then we're gonna close out the final week of Vlogtoberfest with what we call Future Week, where we're going to be talking all about the future of cruising because by then we should know a little bit more about what's going on in the cruise industry. So what do you say, folks? Are you excited for Vlogtoberfest? I certainly am. I can't wait to see what you miss the most about cruising and where you're going. While you write those in, I wanna just take a moment to thank Carly Edwards for the super chat. Carly, thank you so much for your generosity and kindness. What do you say we mix up a cocktail, friends? Are we ready? Let's do the pumpkin spice martini. We are making this um, cocktail again next Wednesday as well. It looked so good to me that I wanted to make it twice. And then when I went to the liquor store and found this Stoli vanilla vodka and tasted it, I knew that this pumpkin spice martini was gonna become a big part of fall, so we're doing it twice. And tonight we're getting started with it. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of the recipes for our Vlogtoberfest cocktails in the chat right now so that if you missed the recipes this week, you can join us next week and make them. So next week we're doing the same one. I am logged in as cruise gear. Sorry about that guys, but when you see cruise gear in the chat, that is actually me. I apologize. I think we have some newbies in the house tonight. Vicki Sharp, it's your first Vlogtoberfest. Welcome, so happy to see you. Mr. Cruise Tips TV is gonna take questions too. So I'll put those questions up on the screen for me and I can answer them throughout our evening. This is gonna be super fun. So what do you think? Shall we make the pumpkin spice martini? Let's do it. The first thing we're going to do is take a chilled martini glass and we are going to rim it with cinnamon sugar. We're going all the way here. We're going holiday and it's only October. I don't know how pretty this is gonna look, but eh, that'll do. <laughs> you wanna go to the second camera now? Okay, sounds good. We are gonna go to camera two. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add an ounce of this vanilla vodka. This is so good, you guys. I cannot believe how good this is. It's a, a generous ounce there. Can you see that okay, sweetie? 
Okay, so there's our generous ounce of vanilla stoli. Faith Montgomery, thank you so very much for the super chat. I'm so sorry your honeymoon cruise was canceled, Faith. And then we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna do an ounce of pumpkin spice liqueur. I tried to find Bailey's, couldn't find it anywhere. One of my wonderful friends on Instagram said, hey, they have it at Trader Joe's and it's only nine bucks. And I was like, are you kidding me? So I got it. So we're gonna put an ounce of that in. I'm gonna put a half an ounce of cream because it calls for an ounce of half and half, but I don't have half and half. So we're going with the straight cream and we are ready to shake. That was so quick, right? This is like, a, this is a really easy one. We'll top it with a little cinnamon too. So let's shake, shake, shake. All right, Christy, I hope that your New Year's Eve cruise is a go. Let's hope so. I have no way of knowing, but I will hope right along with you. I'm gonna talk while I'm shaking. I hope that's okay. Kirk Brunson said, I miss the late night sky on the Lido deck. Next cruise is either on the getaway or the breakaway. First and only cruise is on Norwegian Gem in 2018. Sounds wonderful. That is a beautiful thought, Kirk. I was transported to the late night Lido deck when you said that. And boy, does that sound absolutely heavenly right now. Sounds so good. Thank you, John. No judgment on the vodka generosity. Jim likes my ounce measurement. Felicia said she likes my dress. Felicia, this is a dress. I'll back up so you can see it. I have four of these. I got them on Amazon and they're really inexpensive. I've worn them on several cruises. I was feeling like I wanted to dress like I was on a cruise tonight. It just sounded kind of good. So I did it, but thank you for your kindness. Okay. Bev O'Brien is in the house. Fourth Vlogtoberfest for Bev. You are an OG, Bev. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Let's pour. I think we can stay on the main camera for this one, sweetie. Okay, here we go. Pouring it in. Ooh, it looks a lot more creamy than I thought it was going to. And it's not full. What did I do wrong, guys? I think that the Bailey's just isn't super um, dark, pumpkin-y color. It's not as, it's not as pumpkin-y as the picture, but that's okay. I'm going to put a little pumpkin spice. Karen, this is for you, on top. <laughs> Karen doesn't like pumpkin spice, spoiler alert. And then we'll move the sugary stuff out of the way. There we go. And then I'm gonna take a sip of this and we're gonna have some fun reminiscing about cruising tonight and doing all the things. Hot Tub Club is open, huh? Brenda and the Beretti Clan, third Vlogtoberfest. That is so awesome. Rebecca Stedman, can you move Rebecca's comment up for me, sweetie? I got Kirk's. Thank you. Oh, let's taste this. Rebecca, we need to taste this while we're talking here. Let's give it a go. Oh yeah, that is pure holidays, guys. That is so incredibly wonderful. Jim says more vodka. You know what, Jim, it does need more vodka. I actually think I'm going to do that. Let's put a little more vodka and we'll, we'll, we'll be classy and we'll shake the vodka. How does that sound? Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, and it's kind of foamy. Um, so I think that's what needs to happen. Very critical. Good, good update, guys. You're always looking after me. <laughs> so funny. Oh my gosh. All right, ooh, that's really loud. I think that's, that's good enough. That's ample enough shakage. And now, unfortunately, I'm covered in stickiness. Oh, that's exactly what we needed, guys. Perfect. Okay, this is gonna come in handy, my little napkin tonight. All right. Uh, you know what, I think I missed the last comment, didn't I, sweetie? I think, did I not miss it? I think that there was, I had Kirk's comment, but then the one above it, Rebecca. I did miss Rebecca's. Rebecca said, my favorite thing about cruising is escaping the reality of day-to-day -day life and enjoying the vastness of the ocean with your husband of 35 years. Yeah. <sighs> That almost makes me weepy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Angie said, hey, you guys, I've been thinking seriously about a question. If there was a Cruise Tips TV movie, Cruise Tips TV movie, who would play Sherry? I'm going to let you guys answer that question while I enjoy my drink. Thank you. Mm. And it looks like a very special young lady just bought me a drink. Wendy from Dream Vacations, who is our travel agency partner, just bought me a cocktail. Wendy, thank you so much for the super chat and thanks for all you guys do for us. We love you. You're the best. That was very generous. Uh, Dave said that first sip might be a little strong. Dave, you would think it would be stronger than it is, but it's actually really nice. Thank you, Marsha. My blouse is actually a dress. I'll back up and show it to you again. 
but it is a, um, it's a dress and it's very cruisy and it's hot in California. I'll tell you guys how hot it is right now, 5.40 p.m. It is 95 degrees and it got up to 108 where we live today, so we've been blaring the air conditioner. So I don't know who would play me, Angie, but let's see what everybody else says. Wow, Bridget's being very generous and said Reese Witherspoon. Miguel, Julia Roberts? Miguel, you're fired. I can't get on board with that. I, I don't look like Julia Roberts. I'm joking when I say you're fired. I'm just being funny. I'm not being funny, actually. I don't have a very good sense of humor, but no, no, no. Oh, Jim, you're so cute. Okay, Mike and Cheryl said Rebecca Romaine Stamos. Okay, I'll take that. We've got another Reese Witherspoon. Withersho okay, now Gavin, Gavin, I'm going, Elizabeth Shue, that is an amazing one. I love that. And I can get on board with that. Sonia said Rachel McAdams, and that is amazing and way too generous. Kristen Bell, amazing and way too generous. But you guys are super funny. Wow, Reese Witherspoon, that is so classic. You guys are funny, what do you think? Angie, did you cast your vote? Did you say, oh, Reese Witherspoon is the correct answer, but she's so Southern. And I'm like a California girl, totally, right? <laughs> so funny. Oh, Sandra Lee, Tiffany, that's really sweet. Now I feel, I feel really bad that, that I was not very nice about that suggestion, and I hope that, um, that I can be forgiven for the Julia Roberts comment. I'm sorry, that wasn't very nice. Well, you guys are funny. Elizabeth Banks is probably one of my favorite all-time actresses, Diane. I think she's incredibly talented and she is beautiful. Jessica said Scar jo. Oh my gosh, you guys are so funny. Okay, so Rebecca, you tried the cocktail. Vanilla vodka is really good. Even if you don't like vodka, it is just lovely. Anyway, Angie, that was fun. That was a fun cruise game. Thank you for bringing that up. Uh, Linda said I can be an honorary <laughs> Southerner. Bridget said Sherry is the cruise version of Elle Woods. Okay, you're right. Yeah, no, totally. I 100% lo I, um, love that movie and play and performance. Meryl Streep, that's right. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Jen Megzi said that, um, that Ted Danson's going to play you, babe. That works for you. I think he'd like to request, though, that um, I would like to request that, um, why am I blanking out on my Magnum PI actor? What was wrong with Tom Selleck? He's gonna want Tom Selleck. I'm just, I mean, I'm just being, I just need you guys to know that we're gonna need to get Tom Selleck for him, okay? So funny. Gwyneth Paltrow Jill. No, she's too tall and skinny. I'm short and stumpy. We're like opposites, but I'm just messing with you. Pablo, hello from Costa Rica. Um, yeah, definitely Tom Selleck, John, 100%. Yeah, oh, I like Candace Cameron Bure. She's cute. Richard Gere, huh? Whoa. Rebecca Stedman, thank you so much for that precious little super sticker. That is so cute. Thank you for the fist bump. Robert Jaworski says, good day from Sydney, Australia. First Vlogtober, watched and rewatched your perfect day at Coco Key, Harmony of the Seas, and it makes me so happy during this downtime. Thank you, Robert Jaworski. Now that is our hope. That is like the dream of what someone could say to us because we've been so lost during this time as well and not really knowing, you know, which way is up. And so to hear you say that, to hear you say, thank you for helping me through this time and we're living through the content, that means everything to us. Thank you. That is the spirit of Vlogtoberfest, if there ever was a spirit of it. Laura McCarthy, 1988, said, I've been working with Heather at Dream Vacations for a possible land vacation in Alaska. She's a great help. Thank you for the referral. Laura, I'm so happy to hear that's working out. I cannot wait to hear what you um, come up with in terms of an itinerary. That's so unique and wonderful, and I'm really inspired by that. Elaine, hi, I'm Naomi Watts. Yep, so funny. Okay. Um, Angie said, Mr. Cruz Tips TV is going to be played by one of those handsome actors where you see him and you say, that's the guy who's in everything. What do you think? Did Angie nail it? Jennifer McClintock said, such a rough day. So glad to be watching you all now. Jennifer, thank you. And we're so happy you're here. I'm so sorry you had a rough day. Why is it that sometimes that Fridays can be so brutal? We're here for you, girlfriend. Hang in there. Hang in there. Um, Tiffany, thank you. Tiffany said, your Harmony of the Seas videos are really good. You have the best perfect day at Coco Key video. Well, we had the best day there. It was so much fun. It has motivated me to want to cruise more with Royal Caribbean. Without a doubt, it was just, it was an incredible day. Now, 
I'm fully aware that we really only did the perfect day water park side of things. So I, I feel for the people who were like, look, I wanted to see the chill side in the pool. We did none of that. We were all about the water park, but I think we had a great time and it really, it, um, it, sh it shined through. Bridget's Buzz said, I just had a realization that maybe we all needed a break from the things we love cruising so we can learn to appreciate them more. Yeah. Ah, oh, Bridget. I feel like sometimes I can come to those realizations during this time too, that sometimes there's these huge epiphanies of um, learning to appreciate the travel more and also just learning to appreciate the silence of life and the day-to-day -day and the little things. So, yeah. Larry Glenall said, "Your content, you content producers have allowed us to virtual cruise. Thank you, thank you, Larry. I appreciate it. We'd love to be traveling right now so much too, but we're just gonna hang out there for a little while. Sea days, I'm so sorry that your cruise was canceled with the CDC decision yesterday. Now, I mean, we knew that cruises were going to be canceled through October because the, um, because Clea had already voluntarily paused cruising through October, but it sounds to me like there might have something there might have been something else that kind of happened for you there. Lushy77 said, How do you stay so positive? Ugh. Um, I don't always. You know, we have our ups and downs, but I think that gratitude is so super important during times like these and just appreciating having a roof over our heads. Um, it's been super hard. I mean, 65% of our our business was kind of ripped away from us when this all started and it has not gotten better. So it's been really hard, but there's a lot of things that we find gratitude in, whether it's, um, you know, because I'm not commuting every single day, maybe being able to sleep in a few more minutes every day, seeing my family more. Um, the fact that my slacks are gathering dust in my closet, it's kind of cool. I haven't been having to wear my professional clothes as much and I don't miss it. I love my pajamas. I love my jeans. I don't know. I think we just try to keep it in perspective and to be grateful and to be hopeful and to hang out with our community here that kind of keep us going. I think we had some very dark moments in the beginning, Lushy. Very dark moments, very scary, a lot of tears. Oh, a lot of tears in the beginning, but just the time has kind of helped us to heal a little bit and we're just holding on to the, the little things in life, the vegetable garden, cooking more meals and trying to save money, you know, putting aside as much money as we can, not traveling, not driving as much, trying to do that. Sorry, that was probably a longer answer than you wanted. Well, I'm happy to say that we have 198 people in the house and that is so exciting. So thank you to those of you who showed up to cheer us on tonight. Jill Hahn, Angie, is voting for Pierce Brosnan for Mr. Cruise Tips TV. I would approve of that. I would say Pierce is a little older than Mr. Cruise Tips TV, but that's okay because he's very, he's very handsome. Huh? So is Tom Selleck. Yeah, they're both a lot older than you, but they're still very handsome. Um, Angie said, I'm not sure Mr. Cruise Tips TV is a Clooney, maybe more of an Ethan Hawke. Oh, Angie, he's loving you right now. He's definitely not a Clooney. No, 100% opposite personality. He's, he's made of humility. He is, he is humility personified. So you're right. Yeah. Tina Swarovski said, you make me look forward to cruising with your vibrant vibe. My seven-year-old son's dream is to go on a cruise and finally book for this year and got canceled. So sad. Praying for next year's cruise. So Tina, I hear you. And let's get your little boy ready to go. We're going to have him so excited, so ready, so educated. And he is going to be, he is going to be the main man on that cruise. Tiffany Gore said, I also want to go to Japan after watching your videos. Tiffany, it was the best decision we've ever made as a family in terms of travel. My son, if you listen to last week's podcast, you will hear him say that he wants to go back. Um, Japan is an incredibly special place. It is a very old-fashioned and beautiful society, and the people are unreal. Um, it gives you so much hope for humanity when you go there. It's, it's so difficult for me to describe because... Um, I couldn't, I couldn't appreciate it until I was there and you just, you literally feel it in the way that they behave and the, the way that they treat one another and they're so civil, um, incredibly civil. They care about the way they project and it's just, it's so beautiful, but yet they're the most humble, quiet people too. You got to go. It's so beautiful. Wow. Bridget said Tom Holland for junior. Oh, that's so fun. Rebecca, hello to you, my friend. So glad that you're here in the chat, sending you hugs this week. Aw, thank you, Scott. 
I appreciate that. I'm going to scroll through and see um, what some of you guys said in the beginning about what you missed the most about cruising. It might be too far for me to scroll back up, but I'm going to try anyway. Yeah, I can't see anymore. <laughs> oh, Melissa, have a drink for me. The only bottles you have are baby bottles right now. I know, baby Aiden. So cute. So sweet. Aw. Steven said, what does pumpkin spice taste like? Steven, it tastes like cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, um, an allspice, and a little bit of cloves all mixed together. And it is absolutely lovely. I like it. Not everyone likes pumpkin spice. We certainly learned that this week when I posted the recipe for this. A lot of people are like, I hate pumpkin. I hate pumpkin spice. I want nothing to do with it. Wow. Isabel said, I miss watching movies under the stars while in the hot tub. Oh my gosh. Yes, Isabel. 100,000 times yes. Aaron Milwaukee says, I miss dressing up and having dinners in the main dining room. Oh, Aaron. I know. I miss that too. I mean, I miss even going to restaurants. In California, just this week, we've barely opened restaurants again, and you can only have 25% of people sitting inside. So we just haven't been eating out much because we don't like eating outside because we end up covered in bugs um, and flies. And it's true. Jackie, you're going to Japan in September on Celebrity. Oh, that sounds so wonderful. Tokyo is a fabulous city. I know you're going to love it. Deborah said, y'all convinced me to do a princess cruise. Now I fell in love with princess. See, that's what happens. Princess is a wonderful cruise product. Very classy very elegant, um, but the price is right. I feel like it. The, the premium price tag just isn't really that extreme. It's not that big of a difference, really. Aileen Perez says, hello from Florida. Hello. Miwa said, Sherry, I love the shirt. Everybody thinks it's a shirt, Miwa, but it's a dress. I'll show you again. I know, I, I think everyone thinks it's a blouse. I got it on Amazon. Lushy77 said, what is your number one cruise destination if you had to choose? Right now, the one I want to do that I haven't done yet is Antarctica. I'm really itching to do South America and Antarctica. So hopefully we can make it. Sid is in the house. Hi, bud. So glad you're here. Yay, Sid made it. Vicky misses the princess beds. Oh my goodness, so do I. The princess beds are heavenly, literally quite heavenly. Aileen said, I miss having my room made when I get back to it. Speaking of the favorite cruise destination, I think your question was, what's my favorite? And maybe that meant more like, what's my favorite so far? Our favorite cruise probably, I have to admit it, it, it was the 12-night cruise that we did from Japan to Singapore. It was unbelievable. Um, every single one of us. But it's for a lot of reasons. And we have to remember that that was the longest cruise we'd ever been on. So it was really special. Um, Angie said, I think Princess has a new thing where you can do an add-on bundle. It just came out before Hubby got furloughed, so I haven't heard a ton about it. Yes, you're absolutely right. And I think, Angie, I don't know if they've changed the name or if it's still called Princess Plus, but it's a fair category, if this is what you're talking about, where you can add on um, a Wi-Fi wi drink package and gratuities, and you can see the price difference and decide if it's right for you. So you can see the Princess Saver Fair, and then you can see the Princess Plus Fair, and you can make a decision on whether or not it's good for you. But it's a wonderful thing. Um, Miguel said, if you do Antarctica, would you jump into the frozen sea? Oh, 100% I would. I know they do those things where they put tie a rope around your waist. You, you tie a rope around your waist, and then you jump off of like a Zodiac, and if anything were to happen, they could pull you in. I would totally do a polar plunge without a doubt. Kenny Ingersoll said, what would you consider a perfect length cruise? Kenny, hi. Um, it would depend on who I'm telling to go on that cruise. To me, it's the longer, the better. I think 10 night cruises are wonderful because a lot of times you don't need much more than a week off of work. If you straddle a couple of weekends and a holiday, you can take a single week off of work and do a 10 night cruise. For the average person, it's just really hard to say. To me, 12 nights would be great, 14 would be heaven. I would love it. Yeah, so good. Jin Megzi said, Cruise Tips TV, first cruise back, still carry on only or going all out on the packing. More than ever, Jin Megzi will probably want to do carry on only because I do believe that travel is going to change in a way where you're going to want to be less encumbered. So we will probably 100% go carry on only no matter where we go. 
And now I feel like we can be pretty minimalist too. Like with all that we've done without in our lives in the last seven months, I'm not worried about minimalist packing. So we'll probably do it. I'm still gonna struggle with it for Alaska, but we'll challenge ourselves. Samuel Claiborne said, I miss eating at Guy's Burger Joint. I'm gonna toast to that, Samuel. Thank you for that. Ash06101985 said, we have many more travel restrictions here in Australia than you guys seem to have. Our July South Pacific honeymoon cruise got canceled, but we're hopeful for September 21. Yeah, Ash, the United States are kind of a funny place because a lot of what we do is state by state. And, you know, you really, I mean, you really have a lot of things going on in the U.S. It's very complicated. Oh, Jim Ring said, I miss 24K margaritas on Princess. Ugh, crazy. Kenny, you're welcome. I wish I had the perfect answer. Guys, Kenny actually has a podcast, um, and I was a guest on his podcast earlier this week. I will share the recording with you when it comes out, but we had a really fun chat, and I can't wait to share it with you. So I hope you don't mind me sharing that, Kenny. Angelique Archuleta said, which cruise line would you choose for Alaska? I personally would recommend that you choose the cruise line that you normally cruise with. So if you're an experienced cruiser and you love Royal Caribbean, go Royal Caribbean. If you're a new cruiser and you're over the age of, say, 35, I would probably recommend that you go with Princess or Holland America. If you are um, under the age of 35 and you are a mellow person and you don't like a party crowd, my recommendation would stay the same. If you need a little more action, I would try Norwegian or Royal Caribbean. Hope that that is a good, well-rounded answer for you because I know that that's a lot of information. Oh, SVC lady, you postponed Antarctica. I totally understand. Um, you're going to love Diamond Princess. It's a very special ship. And we actually hope, I would like to go to Japan next year before Diamond Princess is redeployed to a new region. Michelle DeGroote said, I miss having lunch at the International Cafe. Oh, yes, I love the International Cafe. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar, the International Cafe is a free cafe in the atrium of Princess, and it's so fun to go get little snacks and things there. Tommy is in the house. Tommy from Always Be Booked is here. What's in the glass, or should I ask, what are you having with your gin? And it's a pumpkin spice martini, Tommy. We mixed this pumpkin spice cream liqueur, which I got at Trader Joe's for nine bucks, by the way, with vanilla vodka and a half an ounce of cream and shook it up and it is wicked good. The Stoli Vanilla Vodka Tommy is really good. It's not that sweet. You guys know I hate sweet drinks, but hi, Tommy. It's good to see you, pal. Um, Daniel Cox said, I miss Carnival Lava Cake. Oh, heck yeah, amen. Carnival Warm Chocolate Melting Cake. Angie said, what do I miss about cruising? I just miss being able to freely go somewhere other than my house or Costco. Oh, I know. Literally, I feel, okay, so seriously, for seven months, Angie, I'm so with you. We have gone to, we've done, we've gone shopping, right? Groceries, whatever, shopping, and like maybe a restaurant here and there. But the only thing I've done, the only travel, the only thing that we've ever done is I went to my mom's house in June in San Diego, which was wonderful. It felt like a vacation. Um, it always does, but it was like, whoa, this is travel, <laughs> you know? And that was really fun. But other than that, we've done nothing. We took one day trip. We went up to Morro Bay. You guys probably saw that all over social media. Um, we filmed a vlog there. That was wonderful. But we were just trying to escape the heat. We didn't spend the night. We just walked around during the day. We were wearing masks the whole time. We've literally done nothing. No travel. And we're probably not going to travel for a while. It's not, looking, it's not looking like we'll travel for a bit. Oh, wow, Brenda. I didn't know they didn't sell um, alcohol at Trader Joe's in... Um, in North Carolina. That's really interesting. Yeah. Um, thank you, Kenny, for the, um, for the mention about the cake. Let me get you guys the warm chocolate melting cake recipe and video. It is so fun. We actually made the warm chocolate melting cake from Carnival on our channel, and um, it was so fun. And boy, you guys, I want to tell you that it is identical, identical to the cruise version of it. So I'm gonna put the recipe in right now into the chat, here it comes. And again, I'm putting it in there as cruise gear. Steven, I'm sorry your cruise isn't happening, my friend. I know, it's a bummer. Okay, where's the video, hun? I think it must be down at the very bottom. Well, what's that? It's okay, I've got the, I've got the, um, 
I've got it in there and they'll be fine. Okay. Shailene Ogno says, I'm going on Harmony of the Seas this November 15th. We called yesterday and it's still on at 50% capacity. We shall see. Yeah, I believe it, Shailene. I think it's possible that Royal Caribbean will start up and it's in one of the ports where cruising seems to be happening. If anything's going to happen in November, I think it's going to be out of Florida. So sassafras thank you for the super chat sassafras says we miss halloween cruises really cool for grown-ups and the teens who are over trick-or-treating stay healthy folks thank you i miss halloween cruising too i've only been on one but it was really fun eric gator said do you know if you can do sports gambling on royal caribbean ships i don't know eric but i know that there's somebody in the house that might know the answer to that guys can we help eric and tell him if you can do sports gambling and let me know Bono 1077 said, best cruise line for specialty dining, not a main dining room person. 100%, I'm going to say Norwegian. Go on Norwegian, get the package, go every night. It will blow you away. Do it. Um, Lushy 77 said, how are you celebrating your birthday Halloween? Nothing. We're just going to chill. Um, we're going to celebrate with you guys on the 30th. And then I have no, we have no plans at all. Um, I would love to be traveling, but I just don't think we're quite ready yet. So I think a nice relaxing weekend at home is probably in order. We shall see. You never know. We could change our minds. Scott Kaler said, I really miss the last show of the night, grabbing pizza and walking to the bow, listening to the ocean and sometimes sea life. Oh, I know that's so good. Okay, Scott, um, Tommy from Always Be Booked said, no, you can't do sports gambling yet, but it might be on the way. Thank you, Tommy. I had a funny feeling that you were gonna know the answer to that. Thank you so much, my friend. Oh, hey, Rayleigh Creative Travel. Nice to see you here. Oh, my goodness. So, you guys, any cruise questions? Pop them in the chat. We're ready. Let's do it. Julia said, I miss Oceans on NCL. Amazing songs and cheesecake. I miss Oceans, too. It's such a predictable, nice thing. Mr. Computer, I turned your volume off. Why are you, why are you yapping at me? <laughs> okay, guys, I need to make a little more progress on this. It's so good. Angie, thank you so much for reminding everybody to hit the like button. If you're here, please do that right now. That'd be so helpful. JC's wife said, how about you go to an all-inclusive resort to celebrate your birthday, Sherry? We thought about it, JC's wife. We are actually talking about it today. We're just still a little reticent to fly. And um, I don't want Junior to have to self-quarantine when he gets back because then it impacts his, it impacts his school and seeing his friends and everything. And I don't want him to then have to be isolated for two weeks. So it's going to happen, but I don't know when. Laura McCarthy said, have you ever been to Wonderland on Royal Caribbean? Laura, yes, we have. It's absolutely wonderful. I really want you to go watch our Harmony of the Seas vlog. Day one, Embarkation Day, Harmony of the Seas. Find the video on our channel. Watch it. It is a great experience. It's one of my favorite dining experiences I've ever done. Aileen Perez said, do you always do princess? No, Aileen, we've experienced six cruise lines and 35 cruises, nine of which have been on princess. We've really done a lot of different cruises. Michelle said, Sherry, are you dressing up on the 30th live stream? Yes, I am. And I think we have something, I've got something funny. And the only hint I'm gonna give you is it's a throwback. That's the only hint I can give you because it'd be so easy to slip and give it away. But yeah, I'm dressing up. I'm not dressing up for work, my day job though, because we're all totally work at home. That Halloween thing is not going to be happening. But um, for, for here, oh yeah, we're doing it. It's going to be fun. I have to. It's such a good, um, a good uh, tradition. Karen Randall said, Christmas cruise on Royal Princess, December 19th, San Pedro. Do you think it'd be canceled? Well, considering Princess doesn't resume service till December 15th, I think it's a risky one. But wow. I sure hope that we're all able to cruise by Christmas. It'll be so good. Um, Miguel, you're going to Cancun. Miguel, please let me know how it goes. I'm super excited. I love Cancun. Um, I love swimming in the ocean in Cancun. I love body surfing in those crazy waves. I love the blue. I just love it. Carol Hardy with the cute little super sticker. Thank you so much. Carol Handy, not Hardy. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Um, and Tommy, that is really interesting to know that there's a company working on getting a sports betting kiosk on many cruise lines. That is really cool. Um, Michelle, I don't know about the early Alaska season 2021. I'm starting to get nervous about it. And yes, YouTube, you are always welcome to ask us a question. 
L. Griffin, healthcare worker here. Do you know how long MSC is running the discount for healthcare workers? I'm not sure, but I know that I can find. What's that? You know, Mr. Cruise Tips TV knows, and he's going to answer your question in the chat. Um, wow, Jim, you guessed Betsy Ross. Well, we did that at work one year, and it looked great. Wow, did we look cool? But that's not it. Carly said, what's your favorite Hawaiian island cruise? Well, I would do a princess 15-nighter or a Norwegian from the islands. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, back to the MSC sailings for our wonderful healthcare worker in the house. Um, it's sailings of any duration until the end of 2021 for bookings made before April 30th, 2021. So book by the end of April 2021 and sail by the end of 2021. That's really nice. That's very generous. Um, Angie said, I know someone who went to an all-inclusive in Mexico and it looked nice, but you literally couldn't leave the property or do anything else. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Angie, I think that's loosening up. I got an email from Hyatt Ziva today, just a sales email. They were including two excursions with the property. They were including a, a dolphin encounter free for kids and, um, a camel ride. So it sounds like you have to, it's probably a lot like cruising will be in the beginning. Like you, if you probably had to go on an organized excursion. Um, YouTube said, in the medallion class ship, do you get a cruise card? If you'd like to request one, you can, but the medallion is meant to replace your cruise card. Yeah. Carol Clark said, have you done a California cruise? We haven't done a California coastal, Carol, because we live here, and so we really don't have a lot of interest in it because we visited all of the cities that the cruises go to, and so for a week-long cruise, we'd rather not. We'd rather go to new places because we don't want to stop in the in like I don't want to stop where I live or where I grew up and uh, I just want to I actually want to get out of California most of the time when I'm on a cruise it's like no I want to try something different okay Rebecca thank you I'll drink up good reminder I'm not doing very well here guys I need to drink up that's a good question though Carol and I've heard they're wonderful MS said have you been to Cancun any videos yeah we've been to Cancun a lot but not on a cruise and we don't have any videos. We only have like family videos, but it is really fun. Cozumel, which is off the coast of Cancun. We've done that. It's so good. And you're welcome, YouTube, for that. Aw, oh, you're welcome, El Griffin. Our pleasure. And thank you for, for being on the front lines for us. We appreciate you so much. Thank you. Ooh, Fallen Brew Bakers in the house. Eat the melting cake with chocolate ice cream. It is amazing. Yes, ma'am. 100% and peanut butter. Peanut butter is good with it, too. Um, Bridget's Buzz said, California coastal cruise, not a California native trip or a train trip with multiple stops. Mm, right now, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to do train travel for that long. I would do a California coastal cruise. And then what I would do is I would do a train trip after. So do like Los Angeles to Santa Barbara or San Luis Obispo or LA to San Diego would do a short train trip, especially if you have children. I think that's what I would do. Angie enjoyed a California coastal. Yeah, if you're not from California, they're wonderful. It, for the person who asked earlier about the Hawaiian cruise, Mary Ellen Dillon said that she cruised Pride of America in 2016 and had a great time. Yes, please, Miguel. Thank you for your full report. You're so sweet. I appreciate that. That would be awesome. Um, Patty A said, where did you get that map behind you? We'll get you a link, Patty. It's probably still in our Amazon store, right? Do you know if it's still in our Amazon store? I think I put it in there. I'll check. I'll look for you, Miss Patty. Um, I love that map, and it is customizable. You can actually put your family name down at the bottom. We didn't do that because it was more like we we're going to have it in the in the set here. But you can do it. Let me see if I can find it in our fun at home shop. Hmm. We'll try to find it. Would you do me a huge favor, and um, Patty? Can you send me an email, sherry at cruisetipstv.com, S-H-E-R-I at cruisetipstv.com, so I can get you a link? I would love that. YouTube said, do you know anything about Carnival Celebration? Not yet, only that it's going to be amazing. Stephen, we'd love to come to Australia. I'd like to come to Australia and New Zealand to cruise. I would really like that. Bruce is looking forward to Sky Princess in May. Yeah, Sky Princess and Enchanted Princess. Both of those sound wonderful to me. Um, Jim Ring has done the Hawaii out of San Francisco twice on Grand Princess, and it was amazing. That's a very special cruise, guys. Jim can attest to the fact that those 15 nights on that cruise are really special. Mike and Cheryl did that one, too, in the house, and, and they really loved it. 
I think we're working our way up to it, Jim. Um, I used to think that sea days were boring, but now, bring it, dude. I will take 10 sea days and I will like it. <laughs> right? <laughs> so funny. Thank you, Dinamo. Dinamo said, I love your Caribbean colored pumpkin. Good old TJ Maxx. That thing's like five years old. But yeah, Mama Dot said they are working on railroads in Southern California from Oceanside to San Diego and they'll be safer after they're done. So be patient and wait a short time. Good advice, Mama Dot. I did not know that. The California rail system is really fun though, you guys. There's a lot of beautiful coast that you can see that you can't normally see in any other way because the, the train tracks are like right along the ocean. It's very dramatic, it's very relaxing. Um, when my mom and I take the train, when my son and I take the train, we definitely like to invest in the first class tickets. It's not that much more, guys. Please price out first class if you're doing the train. It's only like $20 more or something. It's not that big of a deal. So check it out. It's worth it. Jim said, sea days are the best. I know, Michelle, I would love, um, I would love 10 days at sea at this point too. And I'm just, I've changed, completely changed. Cheryl said that they loved the, the 15 nighter out of San Francisco and the sea days were awesome. I'm down. Um, Ash061 said, cruising New Zealand from Sydney is relatively expensive, but you can score some cheap Pacific Island cruises. What's interesting, Ash, is that if you're coming from the US, of course, they're cheaper. I've noticed that the prices are really inexpensive and it's very strange. Mike and Cheryl, yeah, good turnout tonight. I'm super happy with that, thank you. Megan said, I love sea days the best. Wanna do a transatlantic someday. Hey, Megan. What about for you guys, for your family, Megan, what about a Trans-Pacific? I didn't even know that was a thing until last year, but those Trans-Pacific cruises that take you from the West Coast over to Asia, OMG, I think that would be so good for you and your family. I think you would love it. So true. Yes, yes, Scott Kaler, the Surfliner train. Guys, the Surfliner runs from San Diego to Santa Barbara and beyond up to San Luis Obispo in California. It is a treat. It takes about six hours to get from San Diego to Santa Barbara, and there's so much great coastline. Of course, you go through some seedy areas, lots of graffiti as well, but it's a great way to see California, and it's very relaxing. Carly wants to know if on those, um, on those Hawaii cruises, if the seas get rough, I think it's probably true. And Mama Dot is correcting me on the train. It's not first class, it's business class. Thank you, Mama Dot. You are right. Um, Angie, this Trans-Pacific, I had never heard of them either. And they're not, um, they're not super common. So what happens is that a lot of times when a ship is relocating from the States over to Asia, you get lucky and you can find a Trans-Pacific. They're actually technically a repositioning type of cruise, but they are unreal. And some of them actually do have port stops um, along the way. And you could end up in places like Singapore, Fiji, Hong Kong, um, Japan, they're all very different. There's a lot of different options. So um, make sure that you Google it and check on the cruise message boards. Go to cruiseline.com, type in Trans-Pacific and see what you can find out. YouTube said, what is your favorite carnival ship? You know what ship is wonderful is Splendor and Miracle are cool carnival ships. I love those old babies. And so does Tommy from Always Be Booked who's in the house tonight. Angie, just to give you an example, of a Trans-Pacific. Um, now this one's a little different. Okay, there's a 22 night Trans-Pacific that goes from LA to um, mm, Tokyo. And it uh, in those 22 days, it only visits Hilo, Hawaii, Opera, which I think that might be Samoa, but I don't even know. Kochi, Koba, Toba, and Tokyo. So it only has six ports in 22 days. The rest of them are cruising from LA to Tokyo. You can also do um, Trans-Pacific cruises from Australia. So you could do Sydney to Vancouver 
for example. And on a Sydney to Vancouver Trans-Pacific, let's say you were doing a 31-day cruise, which I know we're all dreaming here, guys. You would go to Sydney, New Plymouth, Picton, Auckland, so, so New Zealand, Bora Bora, Tahiti, Morea, then you'd go to Hawaii and San Francisco and Vancouver. And out of those 31 days, there's maybe 10 port days. So yeah, those are really exciting. Hi, Bonya. It's nice to see you and we're so glad you're here. Better late than never. All right, guys, let's see if we can help. Scott Kaler wants to help get us to 200 likes. Let's get to 200 likes right now. We're at 143. Y'all hit that like button. I'm going to refresh my computer. Let's do this. Okay, so Jim Ring said no rough seas in October and November that he can see. Um, thank you for that, Jim. I am curious about those Trans-Pacific rough seas. It's interesting. Um, yeah, JC's wife, you can do a Trans-Pacific from LA. You have to search for them, but yeah. I know, Angie, you could take the train home from Vancouver. It's so true. That'd be so cool. Jackie did that last year from Sydney to Vancouver and loved it. Did you really, Jackie? Oh my gosh, Angie, I know I, on occasion Princess has them, but Angie, let me tell you what lines are doing them. The ones that I saw, okay, so the first one that I saw was, um, why aren't they showing? Okay, Celebrity has them. Princess has a 22 night from LA. Um, celebrity, Princess... Princess, Princess, they're very common on Princess. Royal Caribbean has a 16 night from Sydney to um, Honolulu. Angie, Angie, listen to this one. Tokyo to Seattle, 16 nights. This itinerary is insane. Angie, listen. April 19th, 2022, day one, Yokohama, Japan. You get to go to Russia and then you go to Alaska and you stop, you go home to Seattle. OMG, that looks amazing. A lot of cruise lines do this, guys. Even Royal Caribbean has them, and Norwegian, and even the higher end cruise lines like Oceana has them. They look so fun. So cool. Okay, we're at 176 likes. We can do this, guys. We can do this. I am confident. Let's get to 200. I'm refreshing my computer again. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Aw, thanks for all your support, you guys. It's really encouraging to see everybody here in the house tonight, hanging out and talking crews. Before I forget, because we're probably going to wrap up in like five minutes, um, we are going to be live again next Wednesday. We're making the same cocktail. So if you can get some vanilla vodka, excuse me, vanilla vodka, the Stoli from, I got this at BevMo. It is exceptionally good. I don't really like vanilla flavors. This is amazing. Um, you could even just drink it neat. Uh, and the pumpkin spice cream liqueur, some half and half or cream are optional. You don't actually need them. Ice, cinnamon sugar, that's all you need. We're doing this cocktail again. So this is where we're going to see you next. And then next Friday we'll be live too. Next week, if all goes to plan, the videos that you're going to be seeing next week are all about packing, packing cubes, and a very special shopping video that we filmed. When I say shopping video and I don't give you guys any details, do you want to guess what kind of shopping video it might be? Do you think they'll get it, Mr. Christops TV? I'm not giving it away. I didn't give it away. I know. Splendor Scott is such a great cruise. I know, Angie. I know. I'm not going to be springing for that one either. It sounds expensive, right? Mike and Cheryl said that when you pass the date line on those Trans-Pacific cruises, you have an amazing ceremony. Oh, that sounds great. Scout Fox 1997 says, love you and Mr. Cruise Tips TV. Thank you, Scout Fox. We love you too. Aw, thank you. Fallen said, I really want to start looking into bookings for next year. When do you think it'll be safe to do so? I don't know, Fallen. Uh, I don't know. The virus doesn't seem to be going anywhere right now. So I can't tell you that. It's a very personal decision. What I can tell you is that when cruising resumes, it's going to be very contained. It's going to be very safe. You're going to have limited options. I'm feeling anxious too, Fallen. I'm like, come on, let's do this. I'm driving my husband crazy with travel like ideas. But, you know, I, if I were you, I'd just hang in there a little longer. Just wait to see how things pan out. We can do this. 
TJ Maxx, ooh, good guess, guys. Wow, a lot of TJ Maxx guesses, a target guess too. Some good ones in here, guys. What I will say, I'm not gonna tell you the answer, but I wanna just let you know that you're gonna love it. It's a great, great video filmed last weekend. Jim got it. Jim got it. I just gave it away then. Why did you say that? Oh, it's a joke? Jim got it? Wait, what do you mean? I want to know, I want to be in on the joke. Okay, I'm not in on the joke. Okay, all right, well I can still have dialogue with you. Scout Fox said, y'all are one of the first vloggers we were following when we started cruising, such great info. Booked on our fifth cruise, thank you so much. Thank you, really, really, really appreciate it. Oh, Jim, Jim said go for trap shopping. So Jim is a member of our Facebook supporters community, which is a $5 per month donation. If you go onto our Facebook page, you see a thing that says become a supporter. So Jim, I recorded a video for our supporter community on, oh my gosh, I think it was, oh, Jim, was it Thursday morning? At like six o'clock in the morning, I did my usual thing. I took a cup of coffee out in the backyard, no makeup on, no nothing. I walk over to my garden and all of my plants are overturned. And so I filmed a, a video of it for our supporters and I looked and sounded like I had just woken up. So Jim, I am sorry for that. When I watched it back, I was like, oh man, I had bedhead. I had no makeup on. I was like, my voice was like this. And I was like, you guys, my plants are dead. <laughs> it was really funny, but anyway. Yeah, thank you. That's, that's the video we filmed. Dang gophers, Linda. Dang gophers. Those things are rampant where we live. Rampant. I need to find out what they hate. One of our friends told me they hate mint. I think I'm just going to plant mint everywhere. But the problem is it takes it over. Brenda said, you looked so sad, Sherry, in the video. I was so sad, Brenda. Brenda is another one of our Facebook supporters. It is true. So what I did, you guys and Brenda, is I took the plants and I lifted them up from their little roots and I put them in other pots as fast as I could because I had to go to work. I mean, I literally had to drive into work that day and I was like, I, uh, uh. and then we had a 100 degree heat wave couple of days. I think they might have survived. We'll see. Um, Mom said use cat litter in gopher holes. You've heard, that's actually a good idea. We need to try that. All right. Bridget's Buzz said, do you think cruising will ever resume to pre-pandemic or do you think it'll be changed forever? Bridget, I think it's changed forever and I wanna tell you something. That's okay. That's good. The last week of Vlogtoberfest, we're gonna talk about why cruising is going to be the safest it's ever been why you are gonna be safer than you've ever been and why this is good. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna admit that this is great. This past seven months have sucked royally, but guess what? There's gonna be improved ventilation systems on ships. We're gonna have new policies about allowing sick people to cruise. It's not gonna be a free for all anymore. You're gonna be safer. It will go back to the fun, lively, people-focused social thing that it was for you at some point. It will go back to that, but it's gonna take us a while to get there. But you know what? Can you think of anything on land that's going back to normal right now? Quote, unquote, normal? No, there's nothing else. Hi, Russell Greenstone, good to see ya. Aww. <laughs> Donna Kelly said shopping, alcohol for live like tonight. I don't know what that means, Donna, but I think it's really funny. Carly, you hate gophers too. Yeah, they're horrific. What do you mean your dog has made friends with them? Do you mean like your dog eats them or is really friends with them? Oh. <laughs> Mr. Cruz seems to be the dynamite. I know, right? We, sometimes I want to. Yeah, I know, Miguel. Flying is probably one of the most germy, gross things there is to do. And I would like, I want to see flying change more than anything else. Okay, guys, we are going to sign off for tonight. Go make some dinner. Thank you all for being here. I know a lot of you who are in the house tonight are going through a lot this week. And I just want you to know we're thinking about you. And we're always here for you. There's been a lot going on. Thank you for being here for us. 
We cannot wait to see you next Wednesday. You are always welcome to send me a direct message or an email to stay in touch. We appreciate you all so much. Happy Vlogtoberfest! And until Monday, when there's a new recorded video coming out, we'll see you on the high seas. Good night. Cruiser of the week! <laughs>